and welcome to Exploring the UK. It's been a long while since my last video, but here is another. Today we find ourselves in Cardiff and we're exploring Whitchurch Hospital. The asylum was constructed in response to the growing need for mental health facilities in the late 19th century. Whitchurch Hospital, originally known as Cardiff City Asylum, cost over 350,000 to build and started construction in 1898, taking 10 years to build over the five acre site. The hospital opened on April 15, 1908 and was designed to accommodate 750 patients across 10 wards, five for the men, five for the women. During the First World War, the facility was taken over by the military and became the Welsh Metropolitan War Hospital between 1915 and 1920. During the Second World War, part of the hospital was once again turned over to the military, becoming the largest emergency service hospital in South Wales, treating British, American and German personnel. There were over 200 beds retained for civilian use, which enabled early Early treatment for post-traumatic stress disorder in military patients. In November 2010, the Cardiff and Vale University Health Board decided it was preferable to centralise all adult mental health care services, so the hospital closed fully in April 2016, but were closing wards off slowly until its full closure in 2016. Whitchurch Hospital is now abandoned and has suffered significant decay. Despite its Grade 2 listed status, with one roof having collapsed completely, there have been discussions about its potential demolition, refurbishment or repurposing of the site for other uses. As of the 30th of March this year, 2024, the site still stands neglected. So watch on as we explore this beautiful Edwardian hospital. Hello, hello, good morning, we're here, we're here. And we're going to do something we haven't done for probably 20, 15 years, and that's to urbex a big one. Yes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're here at Whitchurch, and uh, we thought um, the last of the big, big. But bearing in mind, I've already before, but, before you're seeing this, yeah. I've given the history. For okay. instance, the views, the views know what we're doing here. Okay, so this is this is going to be good for us because this is the. Um, we haven't done any asylums of this size since West Park, Severals, or Cane Hill. So uh, this is going to be, I think, the last of the big ones. And um, yeah, we're looking well, forward to this. I think this is the last big, big sort of asylum. Um, this is still standing and still pretty intact. So this is going to be great. Tom, you want to add anything? No, well, it should be fun. That looks amazing. Yeah, it's been raining earlier, it must have been. It's got um, LED street lights, so they must have been replaced um, recently. We don't have to climb that, do we? I don't know. Is that a bang? Ladies and gentlemen, congrats. Do, do what? I want to get an atmospheric shot. No, get going on. No, it's Tom, it's Tom, Tom, Tom. God, look at all that. So it's so, so like all the incoming mains for everything. Use particulars, semi closed revival. Oh, so these are revival ones. Look at all this. I love stuff like this. 
But I just want to see, look at the cradles for those fuses, 500 volts. Look at that big, I've never seen a fuse that big before. What does that say? Security doors and fire alarms. Is this powered these security doors and fire alarms, I'm assuming? See if there's any of those cradles or, oh yes, there is one, look at that. Look at that. There's another one there. Look at this. So these fit in like this. It doesn't seem like a fuse, it just seems like one contact. Oh no, there's, no. place is one step to being reopened again. It's an unusually high fuse box. I don't want an RCD to go on that. I need to get Tom to take the power back on the board. Right, let's walk out. Well, these, are, these are the similar thermostats like this at my school. I just slowly realised I don't want to miss that. I'll put the other one back in, but I'll do it on the other end. I think the pins are bent on this. Yeah, pins are bent on that one. Shame. Okay, I'm left alone. Brilliant. I don't know what it is. Some sort of signature there. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Okay. Right. Oh, I want to fix something. Okay. Asbestos contaminated area. Big dog, asbestos contaminated area that caught my eye. Until you open it, tunnel access. Oh my goodness. But I just noticed how this um, gen fire alarm, which is Still not got the core points smashed on it, which is very nice. And that goes. There's some relays there, main old few bo fuse boxes. Probably our baker light ones, right? Did you open? I thought you'd have opened that door by now. Which one? The the that one. Oh, Did wait, it wait for you? Ah. What does that mean? I dropped it, and I think I've knackered it. Oh. It's all right. It can't focus anymore. What happened? I dropped it. Do it just now. Yeah. See it? No. Please go on, Olympus. Oh, it's Ah, oh, it's a sad day. The Olympus has died because I dropped it. I was always dropping it, but now it's knackered. Well, I don't know, it's still taking photos, but if I flash that a few up... It took all the good shots of Cane Hill. It took all the shots of Pie Stock. It took everything from 2005 to today. It's 2024. Four. So that old Olympus has done me really well. So I'm happy to use this, but you know. Does the, um, is this the, um, what is it, Olympus Canon, or is it just its own company? It's Olympus, yeah. Does Olympus still make yeah, cameras? Yeah, we'll get another Olympus then. Can we find a place to have our lunch? I left my bloody sausages in the car. No, you didn't. Yeah. They're in my bag. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job, mate. Lean Tom found the tunnel's entrance. There are tunnels. If you go in there, you need to right. There's a little crook. There's a way in. It's not a way in, but you can see into the tunnels. Go into this. 
This place, just every corner, every turn is just a new opening, a new other turn to a new other turn. It's just like, respirators must be more, so this is modern. <coughs> Jesus, wet. No, it's not opening. That's property wedged. I really want to know what's in there. Restricted access contact. Yeah, there's something in there. We have these at our school, but because it's my school, they don't work properly. So what's supposed to happen is an electromagnet constantly yeah. keeps these doors under tension. Yeah. Yeah. And when the electromagnet turns off, due to loss of power or if it's programmed by a fire alarm system too, mm -hmm. the doors close. You can still manually open them, but the doors remain closed. And that's because if there's a real fire and some pushes yeah. the fire alarm, all the doors close to contain or slow down the spread of fire. But because it's my school, um, you get told off every time you pop the doors open, which isn't a bad thing, it's just not how it's designed. So you're just wasting electricity holding a, turning on an electromagnet without um, doing anything. Oh my word, I love this. Every, I just, I'm completely buzzing. And I am one big, I'm on one. What on earth? Printer. I've never seen a QWERTY keyboard on a fire alarm panel before. The 3404 fire alarm control. What on? Oh. Um. Look at the floor. No, it's got holes in it. How deep do those holes go? What do you, these bits of wall are still here? So I don't know what they're doing in here, even though it's a laboratory. So I think this is some sort of science room. Um, it does look very 1930 science here, especially with the power supplies, power supplies with the three pin plug mains. Uh, with the plugs going along like that, a bit like my science block, apart from it's got no gas taps. So, I don't know. This might have been a science room, but it has fallen to the age of time. And if anyone wants to use that as the name of the next film, feel free. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a film already called that, there probably is. Right, can we find somewhere to eat? Cane Hill had a laboratory like this, but it was all still fully stocked. Oh, so it is a lab? Yeah. And all the glassware, all the chemicals, everything. There's no Bunsen's. There's Bunsen taps in there. Is there? Yeah. Why? I don't see... What Bunsen? Gas taps, Oh, yeah, I missed those. Sorry, mine are yellow. <laughs> oh, the um, my score is the same radiators. Yeah, I think I think everyone everywhere got them from the same place. The building should be safe. What is this? I I think it's thirties. It's early. I'm not. No, I think it's early. It just feel. What year is this from? It feels thirties to me. Oh, hand washing only. Let's see. This tap still work. Yeah, no surprise there. That's a lovely no smoking sign. Here we go, look at this. Main switch for MCB board. Look at those. Big buzz bars. I just touched that having faith that wasn't live. Don't do what I just did. Okay, we are having our lunch in here. Please. Stores. 
Wow. Still a few bits. Oh, look, patient's records. Look. Oh, God, okay, maybe not. Risperidone. Don't read it out. Don't read out the, the medicines. It's not the patient's name, it's not Mr. Risperidone. <laughs> Could be. Need to weigh up risks of Mr. not. Mr. Paracetamol. Here, go through, there's more stuff through there. Psychotic will need to be continued, especially as there. Risk of self harm, history of self harm and hallucinations. What year is this from? Is there a date patient? On that? 11th of the 8th, 14. 2014. Wow, that seems quite recent. Yeah. In retrospect to this place being opened in 1908. Patient, something take antipsychotics. As she has something the last. Here, look, I'll show you, but I'll have to blur some. She may need increased oral dose of. What's your word? Hermes looks like. If. Stroke is confirmed. Now, stroke is confirmed. They need to they need to renew medication. Yeah, I think so. Wow! Look at that fire exit sign. That's awesome. Yeah, I've got to press this. Reminds me of Bedford. There's a massive book on the floor in here. With the embossed dino label. Oh yeah, Supplied for the public service, HM. Bipolars on antidepressants. Index. Gee. These are names of patients. They are, yeah. What's the name of that? Oh, look, is this. That's all the cell pit, whatever, whatever, whatever cells. Oh, look, 1973. God, this is a while about. This has survived since the 70s. Sweeney. Oh. Most, yeah, most people are quite short stays. Look, this person still only stayed for a, a month. Oh, be civilised. Anyway, through. <laughs> Tom, is there a door in there at all? I'm trying to make an atmospheric video. Oh, oops, is there a door in there? Um, Ah. Oh, look at that. Not been broken. That is nice. And if I was 12 years old, yes, I would have broken that, and I am tempted now, but that is too nice. Oh, epilepsy mode. I want to save that. I'm not even going to lie, I would bring in an Allen key and rescue that glass because, yeah, so as I was saying about fire alarms, they don't make the gent um, 
ring round pieces of glass and it's really sad to it to get smashed because like that's the last of it and before I finished talking about fire alarms look at this fully intact I've never seen a core point like this before I really like core points I think they're really interesting but I like anything old so if anyone can identify this that would be really great and if anyone knows any surplus websites about old alarms and fire alarms like weird stuff that i like please link below and more electronics like i was talking about fuses earlier <laughs> look at those fuses i've got some fuses at home some really big ones but they take the cake by the way you just dive in and just touch them well it's not humming is it well, it doesn't really need to hum to be live, but yeah, I don't think it's... Well, look at that. What is it going to use? Bluetooth? What does that, what's that supposed to mean? Okay, that's good. Oh, I, I know. Oh. What? Sorry, got to do something. Oh, it's still... Wow. You twist to reset these. That's a shame that's all rusted. That's... Oh. Oh, God, you can see the uh, electromagnet and that fan that causes it to spin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's how they work. There you go, guys. Right. Jesus, my No, that's not moving. Ooh, danger asbestos hazard. Yes, please. What's in there that's possibly made out of asbestos? I'm going to trust them on that, though. Because frankly, I don't fancy having asbestosis in 40 years. Probably by then they might have found a cure or maybe medicines have aren't so much, but I'm not willing to take that risk. I want to look at that mixer. This is a cool mixer in here. Somewhere. Hang on a minute, I've completely lost my orientation. Another one. I wish I brought my Allen key. I, I don't want to steal, but because the stuff I'm interested in... No, okay, it's not in here. Because the stuff I'm interested in is rare, um, I feel like, when do you draw the line from stealing it or preserving it? Because look how smashed up some of this stuff is. And some of this stuff's old, it's not made anymore. You know? But why can't I have it? Because everyone knows it, and even the security knows it. It will be chucked in the skip, smashed up, and recycled. God, look at these kitchens, this is amazing. The consumption of food and drink is forbidden in this area. I don't get that. You make the food and drink in here. Sure, they're allowed to consume it as well, you know, testing the food to cook properly. Okay, that's a bee. I thought that was a wasp. I'm not scared of bees or wasps because I've not been stung by them. That looks like a free phase input there. Uh, yeah. Three, three um, live terminals, one earth and one neutral. There's another one there. There's still bits here as well. I love that. Like the, you, you, that, that today would be someone on paint 3D, or someone on using paint, typing it on text, and it'd be printed out on a flimsy bit of paper and blue tags. Or if you're lucky, super glued. Another one. I've got one in my bedroom, but the glass has gone on it. And look at these, these aren't made anymore. 
Yeah, that's what it'll be. Look, this is paper. Even though it's got a nice design on it, but it's still paper. Everything's paper. Some things are plastic, yes, I'll give you that, but the majority of it is paper, and it's just sad that you don't get the permanent feel of everything. But I look at that electrical emergency stop button, it's, that's permanent, that's there to stay. Now, uh, that's probably on acrylic, and the that layer has been glued on that white there. That's still there, and... Sorry, I was talking, I've just found the um, walk-in freezer. Um, but that's there, look, look at this. That's sad that that's glued on, but I'd love to do that. In the event of emergency. Wow, look at some of this, some of it's still here. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, my voice. <sighs> there. That was cool in there. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even mean to make that joke. Look at that gauge, though. Like, that would be an LED screen. Oh, no. Nothing's as cool as it was. Look at that emergency stop button. That's proper metal with a proper boilerplate. In my DT classroom, I found a, a, a three-phase electric drill. It was probably from early 2000s. That had a boilerplate, but had printed on the paper label the screws of where it pretended to be a real boilerplate. And it's just like, go to the effort of making a real boilerplate. It's a bit of flimsy old paper. You know what I mean? Okay, where's my mixer? I'm annoyed now. <laughs> oh, look at this, this is very old. Once again, it is paper, but it's old, so I like it. What we're back here. Like what? I want a mixer. There's a massive mixer somewhere. Hey, that's a nice one. I'm gonna press this because this this can be resettable. Okay, looks like everyone's burning to death. <laughs> Quick fire. I'll get Tom to do that. That'd be quite funny. Oh, here we go. Tom. Okay. You're in the kitchen, you're making your food, yeah. you're burning alive. You spilt some hot oil on the floor and those <laughs> stuff. Right. The nearest call point to alarm everyone is on there on your right. Yeah, but you won't be near alone. Okay, no, for the purposes you're you're cooking a cake, okay? Now what, what, why would cake be on just, just ignore that. Right, come here. Will you tell me that a cake's first in the place? Yes, your nitroglycerin cake. This is your, this is your nearest nice call point. Point. Cut that. <laughs> now, your near all that's in flames. Dad's on fire. Fire extinguishers aren't working. This is your nearest call point. You have five seconds to press it before you burn alive. Three, two, one, go. Oh god! Oh god! There you what? Go. Funny, that's the only one that went off. Okay, brilliant. Well, I'm alright then, so I'll just burn to death the other I'm going off now. Well, because I, tr I really tried to... Just because you press that doesn't mean you automatically go out and you're alright. Yeah. I'll still die. No, but you have the satisfaction of... Okay, it's a bit flawed. 